The richest man in the world, founder and CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, is not going down without a fight. The tech giant says the National Enquirer and its owner, David Pecker, are trying to blackmail him. Now he's turning the tables on the tabloid. Jeff Bezos says he won't roll over for the National Enquirer. Writing in a bombshell blog, if in my position I can't stand up to this kind of extortion, how many people can? It started with this article in The Enquirer, exposing Bezos' relationship with former TV anchor Lauren Sanchez, complete with private texts and photos. The tabloid claimed it ended Bezos' 25-year marriage. Wanting to know how The Enquirer got the intimate messages, the Amazon boss says he opened his own private investigation. That's when the Inquirer and its parent company, AMI, threatened to publish more intimate photos unless that investigation was dropped. According to Bezos, who shared what he says are their emails. One message described 10 compromising images, including one below-the-belt selfie of Bezos. NBC News has not independently reviewed the emails. The CEO writing, Of course, I don't want personal photos published. But I also won't participate in their well-known practice of blackmail, political favors, political attacks, and corruption. I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. Bezos says AMI wanted him to publicly state that the Inquirer's article about his personal life was not politically motivated. His blog suggests that it was noting David Pecker's loyalty to President Trump. For a very long time, uh, David Pecker was a friend of Trump because he caught and killed stories, because he kept stories that reflected negatively on Trump uh, 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 out of the public view. President Trump often attacks Bezos publicly, going after Amazon and The Washington Post, which the CEO also owns. The Washington Post, which I call a lobbying tool for Amazon. Bezos also alludes in the blog to an unspecified connection between Pecker and Saudi Arabia, writing, Mr. Pecker is apoplectic about our investigation, adding, for reasons still to be better understood, the Saudi angle seems to hit a particularly sensitive nerve. The Washington Post has aggressively investigated the murder of its reporter and Saudi dissident, Jamal Khashoggi. Bezos noting the coverage is undoubtedly unpopular in certain circles. Today, AMI says it had been in good faith negotiations with Bezos and believes fervently that it acted lawfully in the reporting of the story. The board has convened and determined that it should promptly and thoroughly investigate the claims. But meanwhile, the Bezos bombshell is triggering even more claims. Ronan Farrell writes that he fielded similar stop digging or will ruin you blackmail efforts when he was writing an article about the Inquirer's relationship with Trump. The editor of the Daily Beast says one of his reporters was threatened with a lawsuit just days ago. They, in fact, uh, threatened one of our reporters with a $5 million lawsuit if they, he didn't lay off. It's, a, it's an outrageous tactic. AMI has not responded to the latest accusation. The company that's used to exposing others, others are trying to expose. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.